Boo. I bet I scared you. Hi, friends. <laughs> I have a question for you that I don't think you'll ever hear in your entire life ever again. To get I had to get it all right my question for you is <laughs> oh no oh god my button doesn't work anymore I have to fix that anyway does this hat make me look fat <laughs> I swear this has everything to do with the video game by the way anyway hi <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, oh, those alerts are going off. Wait, I want my new- I want my old alerts back. Okay, there we go. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> what do you mean you're not answering this, coward? Answer the question, does this hat make me look fat? That's such like a- <laughs> That's such like a woman thing to say, right? <laughs> um, does this make me look fat? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, let me... Lighting is important. Okay, there we go. Uh, hello. Already dressed if your favorite character dies? What? I haven't been able to catch up with streams lately, Is this a funeral-looking so hat or something? Crystal hype. Oh, I didn't realize it was like... Whatever. Um, anyway... Uh, Mita! I feel like we haven't seen you in forever, Mita! How have you been? Oh, I'm, I'm happy to see you again. And thank you for the nine months, fam. I really appreciate it. Regplay, thank you so much for the seven months. Pikes, thank you so much for the 15 months. I appreciate Super it. Super excited to see you play this game, Chris the Hype. Thank you so much for the eight months. I appreciate it. I thought this was going to be a dead-ass game and no one was going to watch me play it. So, hey, I appreciate you guys being here. I thought no one was going to watch me. <laughs> I've never heard of this game in my fucking life. But I was like, oh, there's a second game coming out like at the end of the month. So I guess I should try the first one. No one's going to watch me, but like, I'll do it. <laughs> Is this really like a funeral head? Oh my God, it was not the intention. I didn't know. Let's see. Let's see. The, the tags are still on this shit, by the way. The tags are still on this head. I'm, I'm seeing if uh, it says funeral attire. Okay. Whatever. Ugh. Just started SMTV Ugh. and watch your vibe of it after. Who died? Me inside. Thank you so much, Joke, for the seven months. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I got this hat while I was in Florida. Actually, I didn't even buy it. My grandma, my grandma had it. So it's from Sarasota. Um, it says Fine Millinery Collection, the August series. Uh, it also says it is, is $68. Nothing on here says funeral attire, okay? Fine Millinery Collection, okay. Let me cut off these tags, okay? Sarasota. No, that's a city in Florida! Regardless of what kind of hat it is, it still that's where looks I went. great on you, Crystal Love. My grandma lives, like, kind of nearish there. Nearish. She lives on the Key Islands over there. <clears throat> it's not a funeral hat, okay? Anyway, I just wanted to... I forgot that I had the hat, so I wanted to wear it. Broda, thank you for the 100 bits! Appreciate it! Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's actually really nice that I don't know anything about this game. I love playing games that I know dog shit about. Like, I don't even know what genre of game it is. All I know is the game is titled AI Somnium Files, and it's from Spike, I think. I think Spike made, th made this game. Tunesoft. Uh, those are the only two things I know going into this. So, I don't even know what genre or, like, I don't know what I'm playing. That doesn't mean you guys answer that. I don't want to fucking know. Uh, I'm just really excited to play a game that I know nothing about. It's kind of it's kind of nice. 
I, I like that. I like playing games that I know dog shit about. <clears throat> I bet the main pro tag is, uh... Actually, maybe that's a plot twist. Maybe there is no pro tag in this game. I'm the pro tag. Me, personally. Crystal. <laughs> Game fan, thank you so much for the 14 months. I appreciate it. <clears throat> AI the Awesome Files. Uh, I believe it's called the uh, Somnium Files. Which is a weird word in itself, but... Uh, whatever. Hmm... <clears throat> Yeah, I, uh, people talk about this game and that's about my knowledge about it, like... Uh, this is a game that exists! I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, I, I am in this video game. I mean, this game came out, like, not long ago, apparently. Love Whoa! Yow. Hard. The, the, the hat's a meme, by the way. It doesn't match my outfit. I just wanted your opinion on my hat. But y'all think it's for a funeral service, so, you know what, I'm personally offended. And I'm never wearing the hat ever it's again. It's Omnium Files time. Thank you so much for the thousand bits, Chew. I appreciate it. Uh, Vondi, thank you so much for the seven months as well. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. Ah, I appreciate you guys being here. Like I said, I didn't expect anybody to watch me play this game. I didn't know how popular it was, but I did it anyway. <laughs> I don't care. I do what I want. <clears throat> AI. Oh, I didn't even think about what AI stood for. It, obviously, it's artificial intelligence. Duh. Artificial intelligence, the Somnium Files. <laughs> so we're dealing with some files written by some AI. Got them. I figured out the whole game already. I'm not wearing this hat anymore. <clears throat> Back to my kitty cat hat. <clears throat> oh, watching game that you only recently finished. Oh, you did actually play this game, Hope. <clears throat> oh, ass. It stands for ass. Uh, it stands for ass intervention. you, Lena. I got you. <laughs> yeah, we figured out that I'm the protagonist and there are files of some kind. Yeah, so there are files of some kind, which uh, tells me that if there are files, that means that there is cases. And if there are cases, that means that I am the detective. Booyah. I'm a detective. That's what this game's about. Um, actually, to take it a step further, uh, I am me, personally, Crystal, main protagonist. I am an artificial intelligence detective. I have taken over the world. I have, uh, uh, I have taken the job of detectives. Uh, regular human detectives are so, uh, 2000s, all right, and, like, prior to 2000s. But, like, now in the way of the world, the world's run by robots, bitch. Like, I am an AI, and this is how detective work goes in the future, okay? Boom. Got him. I have taken over the world. I am the, uh, Robocop. Uh, I don't know what Robocop is. Don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. It sounds like a robot cop, but sure, yeah, that. I'm that. I am an AI. Yes. So that's my prediction for the entire game. I know that tells you everything about the plot, right? <laughs> I got you guys.
Uh. So RoboCop is a movie? I don't watch a lot of movies as much as I used to. I grew up watching a lot of movies because my mom is a big movie buff. Movie nerd? Yeah, that that's the word. And uh, ever since I moved away from home and had my own life, I stopped watching movies because simply I don't have the time for it. I very rarely watch them. The game is about AI, Crystal, and ass intervention. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that could just be taken out of context. <laughs> Quotes without context. I have so many of those. We should just like keep collecting them. <clears throat> well, I've watched movie like I've watched new movies in theaters as they come out, but only the ones that I've I don't know that are bigger. I still haven't seen the new Doctor Strange. I have to go watch that. Mainly for the visuals. I've heard it's ass, but like I'm always impressed by the visuals. Hmm. <clears throat> We figured out the entire plot of the game. Time to move on to the next one. But the next one's in, like, three weeks. Ow. <laughs> S Intervention, the robot detective story. <laughs> That's actually the alternate name of this game. AI Somnium Files? Oh, no. Ass Intervention, the robot detective story. But unfortunately, they couldn't say that because uh, it... it Obviously, marketing, you can't swear in the title of your video game, so they... Yeah, it, you know. So they had to rename it to AI The Somnium Files, but I'm sure that was probably the alternate title that they originally had. localization exactly <laughs> oh no i obviously i have no idea how long this game is but i'm just gonna play it and we'll see but i have i do have a feeling that there's gonna be an awkward pause between this game and whenever the next one comes out because i think the next one is like the end of the month and yeah we'll, we'll have like an awkward week or two of i'll need to find a small game to play I'll figure that out whenever we get there. Cause like, I would love to start Bloodborne or the original Ace Attorney series, but those are very long games. So I can't, I don't want to start a very long game. <laughs> June 24th, yeah, June 24th. I also am leaving for a convention next week but I'll only be away on Thursday, Friday, and Monday. Jules, thank you so much for gifting five subs to the community. Holy poop, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do have to figure out the Ace Attorney thing. The thing is, I have not had any time to reach out to people, to voice actors, to work with. But I do, like, th the idea with Ace Attorney is to schedule, like, one or two streams a week of it in the evening with a voice actor, because I'm sure that their sk their schedules are very busy, so... It's my 30th birthday today. That'll be, that will be a side project that I have to start working together, like getting together. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do it after the convention. Right now I'm in like super cosplay crunch because I'm trying to finish my cosplay in a week and a half. It's like in pieces back here and, and in that box and I, I'm working on it, but yeah, it's hard to finish. I'm in crunch time and I have, so in, in nine days, I have to finish a whole cosplay and I have to edit three videos. I'm crying a little bit. Uh, yes, I have heard your turn to die. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I had a friend recommend uh, everything everywhere all at once. 
heard it's a really, really good movie. I'm behind, dude. I still have to watch the new Fantastic Beasts movie. Look, I'm gonna watch it, because I, I, I love that world. It might be a bad movie, but I, I, like the, I like the magical world. So, I would like to watch the movie. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I am excited to play Bloodborne. Just don't know when to start it. <laughs> so much to do. Wait, isn't... Uh, wait, when is... Because they pushed forward Xenoblade Chronicles, right? Is that this month or next month? I think they said July, right? Oh, that's the end. Okay, July 29th. July 29th. So the end of July, we're playing Xenoblade. <sighs> okay. Oof. Yeah. That came out of fucking nowhere. Imagine a game being pushed up in our day and age. <laughs> what? Ahem. <clears throat> Oh, I would like to try Ghostwire Tokyo, yeah. Storm of my blood! <laughs> Born of blood from my blood brother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't do this to me. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I don't want to think ahead too much. It kind of... Lately, I've been stressed about thinking too far ahead because I got a lot of shit I got to worry about, like, in the present day. <laughs> My brain can't think in the future right now. Like, I got to worry about getting through the next week and a half, and then I'll be good. But, like, the next week and a half, I'm like, you know what? I'll just live my life and play AI Somnia Files and see what happens, all right? <laughs> Let's just take one week at a time right now. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Uh, I already played the other Xenoblade games. You can check out my games list. Someone put it in the chat earlier. That's all the games I ever played. I played them long before I streamed. Splatoon 3. I don't play Splatoon. Not interested in those games. You need Splatoon 3. You'll get it eventually. You will. You're hanging out because you're still playing this game. Hey, well, I hope you're enjoying it. Well, you're, I don't know how far we're going to get today, but, you know, it's the first stream. Usually it starts off slow, right? <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. It's weird. Yeah. I did see the trailer for Eternites, but it it looks like such a generic. <laughs> the trailer was like generic JRP JRPG dot MP4. It didn't look like anything super special. I I don't know if I'll play it, but like, uh, we'll see, we'll see. The trailer uh, didn't sell me too much, but I might give it a try. I don't know. Yeah, I do know. I did see that post by the artist that they were inspired by Persona, so they made the game inspired by it, which is cool. Maybe the plot is better than what it seems, but yeah, the trailer was like extremely stereotypical. <clears throat> oh, yay! You just played it a few weeks ago. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people are 
maybe doing the same thing as me and trying this trying the first game out knowing that the next one's coming out at the, in a few weeks here <clears throat> but yeah the only thing in the state of play was of course final fantasy 16 which was uh, the sexiest shit mm, i'm excited about that <laughs> It was on sale? What? Wait, AI Somnium Files was on sale? I just bought it for full price. <laughs> $40 gone. It's okay. It better be worth it. It better be worth $40. Just saying. Oh, it was on Steam. Okay. I bought it on my PS4. I don't- I tried to avoid Steam games, still. One day, one day I'll have a better PC. <clears throat> yes, that was Soken's first job. Hey, we all start somewhere. Jago, thank you so much for gifting a sub to the community. I appreciate it. I know, Soken's music is so good. I'm genuinely so excited. Oh, that's another thing that happened this weekend. Thank you for gifting another sub, I appreciate it. Um, another thing that happened this weekend was I stayed up Friday night, or technically Friday, Saturday morning, to watch the Primals concert. Uh, oh, I have not stayed up until 6 a.m. for a very long time. Oh my God. I can't even remember the last time I stayed awake until 6 a.m. Like, I swear it hasn't been since before college, maybe high school. Holy shit. I, that, 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 it was rough. My, my sleep schedule got super fucked. I'm, I'm fine now. It took a few days to recover, but like... I, I was watching the Primals concert Friday night, Saturday morning, Colon and... Three. By the time it ended, it was like almost 6 a.m. my time, and the sun was rising. And I, I, I couldn't believe that the sun was literally coming up. I haven't done that since I was a kid. Holy shit. Jago, thank you for gifting another sub to the community. And Moonsong, thank you so much for the four months. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. No, my Steam doesn't crash. My PC just is not reliable. It's not very good. So if I can alleviate not playing games on my Steam, on my PC, then it helps a lot. I'm trying to make my PC last here. <clears throat> of course, most people here watch anime. Thank you for gifting another sub. Thank you so much. It was like 12 p.m. here and it was just like, what the fuck is she doing? Yeah, I was I was awake watching the Primals concert. Look, I love Final Fantasy XIV way too much, dude. If there's a concert at 3 a.m., I will be awake for that concert. <laughs> Whoa, thank you so much for the two gifted subs. I appreciate it. I do really like Full Metal. It's my favorite anime. Gets me right in the feels. Although, it, I, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I also wear this necklace every single day. <laughs> Besides the emotes. Every single day of my life, I wear this necklace. <laughs> my favorite game I've played recently. Oh, uh, definitely Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. That was the best. My new favorite game. I say new favorite game, but like... Technically, Final Fantasy XIV is, but we don't talk about that. It's a special exception. Mita! What are you doing? You're not allowed to gift subs. Get out of here, you punk. Thank you for gifting a sub to Chicken Drumstick. What? <laughs> oh. I'm excited to play this game, honestly. I love, I love going into games that I know nothing about. Not even the genre. It's kind of nice. You just bought 14? 
And you're excited to play past the free trial? Oh my god, did you just say that Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial that includes up to Heavensward, the first expansion for free for unlimited time? What? That's crazy, but no, I'm really glad that you en you're enjoying it so much that you bought it. <laughs> but yes, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles for sure. That that was an amazing game. That that it was such a good ride. And I was so happy that it was like really unexpectedly long. Like I wasn't expecting to spend 120 hours playing both games. Like that that shit was way longer than I thought. And the best ride that I've had since P5R. Like it was so good. <laughs> you want to get into it and have a cute character? Yeah! You gotta have a nice warrior of light. I still am freaking out over my all raw okay, horns that I bought. Do. I'm Sorry, so excited Crystal, to wear them. Sorry, Crystal, I not mean to interrupt you, Constance. <laughs> Keep up the magnificent efforts you're doing. Always remember, we all love you for being an awesome person. Psh, don't, don't, don't apologize for interrupting me. You, you could support me. That's fine. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the 13 mm -hmm. months. Toby, thank you so much for the four months. Hello? What just happened? Okay. That was weird. Um, but yeah, thank you for the four months, Toby. <clears throat> Ooh, Danganronpa fan game. Took you four hours? <laughs> Wait. Oh no, you spent an hour trying to play it. Oh boy. Too much work, too much work. <clears throat> <laughs> they did fix up a lot of um, ARR. It's a lot smoother now. And it's actually a lot nicer than I remembered it being because i'm going through the story with my brother he's playing 14 for the first time and he just ended the dragon song war so he's like getting into stormblood almost there um but yeah because i was able to watch him go through arr and heavensward with the new changes and i was like wow this actually doesn't seem like groggy anymore and i know a lot of people shit on arr but personally i actually really like arr i don't think it's that bad it's just a little bit slow to start but I don't find anything bad about it because it's very uh, world building. So I appreciate ARR a lot more for the world building that it sets. Like it sets a precedent for like everything else that happens in the game, right? So I was able to like go back and appreciate ARR a lot more. Would I recommend 14? 14 is my favorite game in the whole wide world and if I could make everybody in the world play it, I would without a doubt. You don't understand how much I love this game. <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to talk about 14 all day, every day. I'm obsessed, okay. You can play uh, 14. It is an MMO. But what I love that they're doing is they're making it a solo player experience. So if you want, currently, you can play up to the first expansion. Like all of A Realm Reborn, you can totally play solo now. All of the trials, all of the dungeons, you can play with NPCs. So it's becoming a solo player experience and they're slowly making it to, they're implementing the solo player experience to all the expansions they're doing one expansion at a time it's a process but you will actually be able to completely do it solo without interacting with anybody if you want like you don't need to play dungeons and raids and trials with people so that's like the direction that they're going if mmo aspect like scares you you can completely ignore it almost now <clears throat> It is quite nice. Sorry, I wanted to wear my horns again. <laughs> They're pretty. <laughs> yeah, if I if I ever like take over the world, for sure, I would my first order of business would be every person in the world has to play 14. That's it. A bit unclear, I think she hates 14. 
Yeah, for, I don't, honestly, if I had to write a testimonial, it'd be like Final Fantasy XIV ruined my whole life. I'd play it every day, and I can't stop. I just, there's so much to do, and I love the friends that I hang out with every day. Like, what? I can't... <laughs> stop being horny. <laughs> no. I know, aren't they so good, though? Like, sheesh, I'm excited. I'll be wearing them, like, with my character wig and everything uh, at the convention next week, but I'm still obsessed with these horns. They're so good. I get to be my character. You would make everyone play Danganronpa? You sadistic fuck. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> yeah, they are my character's horns. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, but anyway, this isn't a 14 stream, alas. This is a AI Somnium file stream. I think we have lingered long enough. <clears throat> I have no idea what you guys are talking about, so I'm just gonna play the video game because y'all make me scared for my life. All right, uh, uh, uh. I don't know where I'm gonna put my camera. I guess we'll find out. Maybe if I go down here. Holy shit, Jesus Christ. Don't give me a heart attack, I just started. Is this a horror game? Oh God, the music is so loud. Holy shit, give me a second. Y'all, if I'm playing a horror game, I'm gonna quit. I'm just kidding. We'll persevere, I just didn't know. And they, they make me feel like this is a horror game now. Okay, hold up. Oh god, my PS4 is so loud. Okay. Wow. Why, why are we so loud? Also, where's my chat? Chat, I miss you! Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Oh. Huh. This music is quite nice. I'm just trying to make sure, uh, why am I doing this? Should I do this instead? No, I don't want to do that. Okay. This should be fine. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna find out what this game's all about. Cheery, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Alrighty. Chat reminder, be good. No backseating. I like going into games not knowing what the fuck they're about. Let me experience it. Sit back and enjoy the playthrough. That's all I can ask. I like not knowing what the fuck this game is. What is this? Oh, <laughs> there you go. Gotcha, chat. <laughs> anyway, options. I typically hate sound effect noises. They're always too loud. Wait, do I have to click there? Oh, there we go. Okay. Special agent date Kaname. Settings request form. Oh my god, wait, are we actually- we're detective? Or no, we're an agent. Special agent. Same thing. Whatever. Submit this form promptly to the appropriate office. <laughs> um, text to play. Scrolling on. Yes. Oh, you can skip the message or you fast forward. Okay. I 
I don't understand. Skip unseen the content? What? crash your twitch <laughs> all according to plan all right friends let's begin the ai somnium files are you guys ready you better be ready because we're gonna start right now this a horror game it's definitely a horror game <laughs> starting game with selected language it can't be switched okay i think i speak english oh <gasps> auto saving What kings? Oh, this story is a work of fiction. It's not real life. Remember that? <laughs> I love a good thunderstorm to start it off a good horror game. Oh great, thunderstorm and clowns. This is a carnival. Great, this is a great setting for a horror game. We're going to the circus. Oh great. Not the merry-go-round. Everyone knows that's the best ride. Whoa! Is she dead? Oh, yeah, Hello, she's dead! I've been recently because these games are ones I want to play myself. But dead on the merry-go-round! What the fuck? Keep up the great work. for her eye being gone. Ah, yes. Maybe it was both eyes. You can only see one. Maybe both of her eyes are gone. Yeah, that's a good point. It's not a merry-go-round anymore. It's not merry. Day one, Friday. So if it's not merry-go-round, what would it be? Bloom Park, Friday at 10.54 p.m. So are we like... Oh, what if we're detectives solving her murder? Wait, she got murdered and we're here to... solve the case. If her eye was gouged out, she wouldn't have that much blood on her chest, would she? Maybe she was... I don't know. Maybe she was stabbed. Too. Oh, what is that little thing? What is- what is this piece of shit? Investigation. During investigations, the main character, Date... Date? Inspects scenes and collects testimony. Wait, I am not the main character? I think I have to stop playing this game. I said I was the main character, Crystal. But this guy rolls in and thinks that he's the main character. Whatever. <sighs> Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Dante's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor in your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye. This fence definitely catches my eye. There is a fence. Set up around the merry-go-round. Probably to prevent nosy kids from getting caught in the machinery. 
Ah, yes. So who are you? Oh, you're my boss? Whoa, hello. When you speak to a person, you will be presented with choices and look. Use the choices to select the topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you're speaking to. Huh. <laughs> this reminds me of like old text games when you would say like, look at surroundings, look at person, or just look. I call her boss. She doesn't even have a name. She runs Abyss, a special branch of the Metropolitan Police Department. I report to her directly to her. <laughs> so, what am I doing here? Are you serious? Uh, whoa, is that what I look like? Hey, yo. Your okay. special agent, Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Bro, that's Greg. <laughs> hey, yo, Greg! Let's go! Usually, no. But tonight it is. <laughs> Oh god, we played a great game! Games. Enjoy. Thank you, Artie, for the 14 months. I appreciate it. Because you know this woman, don't you, Dante? <laughs> I had to tell you. You deserve to know. He is everywhere. Oh my god. Greg Chun. Why are you everywhere? Uh, The rain is awful, huh? It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Hey, who found the body? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. After finishing discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain important information or clues. So there's a log. I still don't know where to put my camera, but I'm gonna keep it here for now. Although you can't see like the menu underneath of me, but I don't think it's that important. Um, any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work from the case six years ago. The case six years ago? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago? Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. She's my friend? I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. Okay, so this is your log. <clears throat> okay, uh, I guess we talk to the inspector or the policeman first. How's the investigation coming? Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Ooh, the camera movement. Are these... The horses that... Wait, they're supposed to be in the merry-go-round. How the fuck did they get out here? What? The horse How do you... The merry -go -round. How do you disassemble the merry-go-round like it that? Looks like it's skewered. This is not a message from the criminal. The park was already in this state before the crime. Oh, okay. That's what you call decor? My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Oh. Fucking teenagers, man! A red barrier line wraps around the scene. In the old days, they used to use yellow caution tape for this. 
Now we've got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Yeah, sometimes we use good old-fashioned yellow tape. <laughs> you know, I miss the yellow tape. Look, it's right there. So we're living in, like, a futuristic... <gasps> Panda! Panda ride! The panda ride looks lonely. Aww. Not the panda. Is this the control room? The place where the operator sits to turn the ride on and off. I took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Oh, well, that's a shame. You'd think that the control room would have what you need. Um, I guess we could talk to the inspector. Thanks for coming here out here in this mess. It's my duty, sir, but thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. <laughs> it's Kagami, sir. He's so excited! <laughs> I'll ask it again. It's Kagami, sir. I can ask it again? How about again? Kagami. How about again? Are you serious? It's Kagami! So, anything to go on? <laughs> Not yet, sir. How about, what's your name again? I already learned his name. I don't need to ask him again. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I know his name. He told me already. His name is... Oh. <laughs> hey, what did you say your name was? <laughs> oh, no! Hey. Hello? Hey, I know you can hear me, Kagami. Wait, did he just say- So you do know my name. <laughs> An inspector from Metro. I hope he finds a lead. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Well, we, uh, well, that happened. Uh, can I talk to this policeman? A local cop. Okay. It's been eight years since Bloom Park closed. The weather's gotten to it pretty bad. Eight years it's been sitting here? Oh, that makes sense now with the, the skewered horses. Wait, cityscape. I can look at that. And the sky? The city skyscrapers crowd each other. The rain is depressing. Has it been like this all day? You you tell me. I just got here in this game. You should know what the weather was earlier in the day. Bitch. It's the main column holding up the roof. A horse from the merry-go-round. All right, so I guess I'm supposed to look at the body now. The body is mounted on one of the horses. I should get a better look. I took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? Wow. <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. <sighs> Fine. I appreciate your understanding. Oh, he's so cute, his voice. <laughs> Allow me to assist you. Oh, that's Iba. Her official de designation is AI Ball. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. Oh, that's why I have a yellow eye? It's fake. An AI for an eye. <laughs> you want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Oh. I can just zoom in on my eyeball? Grr. Oh, that's nice. Iba's special vision modes may help you obtain new information. You can use the zoom mode to enlarge the target. Okay. L3? Who the fuck uses L3? 
Joko Nadami Corpse. Ooh. Ooh. I guess we'll look at the eye first. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Yeah, no shit! Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive? Correct. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Whoa. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. Six hours? And it was only reported two hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. Several puncture wounds, but no cuts or tears. That means... The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth. Like an ice pick. I was gonna say, her clothes are completely fine. Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Uh, what? Inside the column? Date, use me to see through the column. Utilize the x-ray mode. Oh. That's normal. <sighs> oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up! I pushed him aside and ran up to the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it! Hey, whoever's in there, stay back. Whoa, what kind of a gun? Is that a laser gun? Izuki. Oh, we know her. If she's holding the weapon, that means she probably didn't do it. Oh, her hair looks silver. Now it's blue. Yo, I look cool for a pro tag. Just saying. I look pretty. I like it. What is this place? This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. You are? start with this I can answer all of your queries all right then who are you I'm me of course I know that voice Iba 
Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I'm trying to sort out my situation, but my brain isn't cooperating. Must be because I'm sleeping right now. So, things that I should know. I can't remember, my head is all fuzzy. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head, what a strange feeling. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? My... Somnium scan! Activate! Oh, roll credits? What the fuck? This is so trippy. Hmm. Got it. Got what? Oh, you he said that. scan of your somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Oh. Mental locks. Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. <laughs> huh? <laughs> In short, somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Well, I suppose that is true, but... Alright, let's do this! Okay. Uh, sinking in the brain. Wake Date up. Date's dream world is this in this strange and surreal dream. Trust the light to wake up Date. Insomnia. Oh, insomnia. Oh, insomnia. It, oh, it all makes sense. The dream. Oh, clever. Clever. I get it now. It took me a long time. Insomnia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. Okay. Move Aiba closer to the door and investigate. No. Oh my god, I'm this girl. Okay, but like... My question is, why did they have to introduce this girl like this? Or whatever. I don't even think you're a girl. You're just like a thing. Like, she like, it gets introduced and she's like. Like, why? Why Why did they have to do that? I don't, I don't understand. Like, that was so weird. Like, what is... Like, what an introduction. Okay. A door locked with a padlock. When investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give Iba instructions. Have Iba investigate the door. It appears all I have to do is open this door. <laughs> that is to be expected. Dreams are not bound. 
down by logic. <laughs> this is Dante Asamiya, a reality built by dreams. Asamiya? Bruh! Ah, <laughs> your mental faculties must be <laughs> I suppose I'll have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious. Oh life. my god. <laughs> What's Shut happening? up and listen. <laughs> Shut up and listen, Dante, Jesus, okay? Look at that. Places where the light touches have become color. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every oh. human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. Uh. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in insomnia. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Oh my god, Don't that I have a <laughs> A new object has appeared. Move on to an investigate. Uh, she has a veto. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Smell it! Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. God, what? Uh, okay. Ah! Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. <laughs> what game am I playing? I don't understand. <laughs> I've completely lost, like, the point of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what I'm playing. Oh god. Okay. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh Switch. The thorns are gone. Ah, Aurora, thank you so much for the seven months. Mako, thank you so much for the 12 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, friends. Now I can activate the switch. Whoa. Grill. Grill gone. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. <laughs> Date's a mood. <gasps> Wine. Wait. Standing lamp. Oh, I want this standing lamp. That's cute, actually. Wait, I want that. Where do I get it? A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Kick it? No, I don't want to break it. Oh, wait, this is a dream, right? Lift it. Won't 
move. Must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. <laughs> Stop. Must be allergies. Oh my You're god. Just <laughs> This is so good. A lamp. It look. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. How did kicking uh, that move bites. that? I saw the skeleton skull move slightly. Hey, Date. Are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you a thug? What? <laughs> a basket. I cannot see inside it. Wear the basket. Leave it to me. It is dark. <laughs> I cannot see anything. I see a dumb AI and a skeleton. A basket. A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra? A stuffed and chupacabra. A Cult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody said to the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Oh, I didn't realize the skeleton is the. Oh. Oh. That should have made sense before. A glass of wine. Have a sip. Leave it to me. Hey. Ah. <laughs> I feel kind of good. <laughs> Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? <laughs> She's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. Oh, what? I hate that the options go away. I don't... I don't know what the right and wrong options are. I just want to see all of them, but then you can't if you accidentally do the right one. Well, fuck off, game. A skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Talk to the skeleton. A skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. True. Hello, my name is Iva. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. <laughs> hey, don't ignore me, stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony! Finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> A skeleton. Hit it. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hi what? I have a look. The wall. Oh, oh, fuck, that was the right thing. Oh my god. Did I... Uh, did I get a game over? Oh my god, I got a game over. But it said I progressed. Oh. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Bosses sleep talking. A hidden item and insomnia. There's always one somewhere. <laughs> no more. I can't eat it anymore. I'm stuffed. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, 
Whoa. Uh. A gun. A gun came out of the skull? Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, what? it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Who did you hear that from? What? A gun. It won't go off? It should be fine. What's that? Look Whoa. at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? Uh, no. What was that about? What's over here? What? Oh. Okay. It seems like, uh, oh. Uh, file, flowchart, options, and guide. Turn title screen with the top menu at the top right. Okay. Flowchart? That sounds nice. I like this one. The voices seem a little bit quiet in comparison to the background volume, so I'm just gonna do Allow that. Allow me to assist you. Allow me to assist. Allow me to assist you. If it's too loud, then we'll fix it later. But I feel like the voices are slightly lower volume than the main background music. A door locked with a padlock. Put the gun in the keyhole. Wait, the gun is the key. Huh. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. Oh my god! I suppose. Whoa, it actually worked? I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. Seems I was key in helping us escape. <laughs> okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. <laughs> the fuck? I'll open it. Man holding gun. Oh. That don't look so good. Oh. Dreams over, streams over. Okay. I feel like we had a good stream. A little over an hour. It's time to wake up to reality, everyone. Just gonna end the stream here. Day two, Saturday. So this is the morning after, 9.21 a.m. What a room. There's like every holiday in here. Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. Is this like a storage place? The fuck? Well, it ain't 
this uh, room, there's streamers. Bags hanging on a rack. Inside the bags are masks, like for costume parties. Shelves. That's it? Just shelves. The entrance. Wow, this is a great description. Rip. A tombstone. Rip. Uh, thank you. These are great descriptions. A cabinet. A police officer mannequin. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This was the moment I started to worry about boss's mental health. Okay, RC car. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8. .8. Height of 5.35 and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. That is so random. It's a volleyball. A soccer hmm. ball. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. Boss's old love interest might have must have been an athlete. Interesting. A flag with big catch on it. A soba restaurant door curtain? Why? Uh, don't question it. Okay, so what the fuck is this thing? A tanuki. You think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. Love this game, have fun. I, I gotta Google this. Can a Tanuki's ball sack stretch? What did she say? 10 feet? Oh my god, the first thing that Google says is yes, really. It said that the Tanuki can stretch his ball sack to the size of eight tatami mats. educational game you learn so much from this game it's crazy she has a computer on her desk the type that has a monitor built in wow a bookshelf it's full of files and binders but i don't know of what it's got books manga movies games all sorts of stuff what does she do in here don't ask that question happy birthday parents a happy birthday banner decoration. That birthday party was a while ago, though. Pumpkin. A pumpkin carved out like a jack-o'-lantern. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? <laughs> Sorry, it was funnier in my head. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so the darts machine. An electronic darts game. What do you have this? So, if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. Honey. I'm glad she thinks in the head. You know, she's a very future thinker. Yes. The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. Like you and me. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. This is so awkward. Okay, so the skis. skis. Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? No, should I be? A police poster. A public bath door curtain. 
What the fuck do you have in this fucking room? That's my grandpa's death mask. The guy had a huge face. <laughs> A mysterious mask is displayed on the wall. A map on the wall. Wow, riveting. Boy band poster, oh boy. A boy uh, band poster. Yep. They're all my husbands. Uh-huh. Boss is single, by the way. I like that the game needed to clarify that sarcasm. All right. Stationary bike. A stationary bike for indoor training. A symbol. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. You use a symbol? No, I can hear it all the way down the hall. You couldn't find like a quieter way to stress relief? No? Okay. It's a lifesaver. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. Made of video game characters. <laughs> I'm single, by the way. <laughs> a police poster. A coat hanger? There's a lot of stuff hanging on the coat hanger. Plaster figure. Triangular ruler. That's a Persian rug, you know. Oh. Very expensive. Oh. Oh, yeah? How much? Ten billion yen. Uh huh. What sure. are you in elementary school? She sure sounds like it. She sounds like she'd be a great friend, right? Oh no, not one of those Russian dolls. Matrush. Reminds Matrush. me of you, boss. Oh god, Matrush. You have many faces, one inside the other. Oh god. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matrushkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one. Smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. That's deep, bro. That that's deep. A large key. Like it? It reminds me of you, Date. My name is Kaname. The kanji for key can be read as Kaname. But that's not my real name. I don't know my real name. What? I don't know anything about myself past six years ago? Oh. Well, that gave me some information, uh, unexpectedly. Also, I don't know why some text is green. Oh, is that because I have done it? A chair. Wait. Now it's white. Oh, I guess I should pay attention to that. Oh, so green means I haven't, or there's more. You have more? Hey, Mario. Nice to meet you. Wait, you talk? Oh my god, I can hit it again. Hold up. So, wait, I didn't know that. Green means there's more. Oh, never mind. been here since the first time I saw this room. Grandfather's dead mask. Uh, pennant. A souvenir from some rural town. I haven't seen one of these in a while. There's a pennant adorning the wall. Okay, I think that's everything but apparently Mario. Oh, the desk. Boss's desk. There are still stickers all over the front. Yeah, can we like check out? Oh, there's more to the rug. The 
Persian rug is laid out. Oh, the soccer ball? That's weird. I can still talk to Mr. Police Officer Mannequin Mario. Boss's friend, Mario. Oh, that's it? Okay. He talks. Alright, I guess I can talk to the boss now. Ah! Uh, I see that you still haven't cleaned this place up! Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. You know what? Like That's perfectly party, logical. Right? I want it to feel fun in here. What's the status of the investigation? Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, my boss. Is my boss? <laughs> the commander of Abyss Metropolitan Police Department? <laughs> I mean, I think Dante I mean... and I have the same brain. Huh. I honestly don't know. I don't know I've your name? I've been boss for six years, so... Wait, what? Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from a memory disorder, like all pro tags do, of course. I don't remember anything past six years ago. Uh, I've hey, been having Crystal. flashbacks Hope recently, having fragments of my past. Day. Currently in a D and D Wait, game market, I'm excited to, to see you play through AI. Thank you so much, Nutscape, for the seven months. Also, thank you so much, Worm, for the five months. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. Ugh. I do think that Date and I share the same brain cell. Yeah. Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Oh, oh. so nothing to report then. Got it. Uh, about... Do we go from the past or the current? Let's stick with the present, and then we'll talk about the past. Any leads? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. She said almost definitely. That's, uh... That means there's doubt. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. That sucks. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Is there any other information? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through what? her husband, Okira Renju. What? Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Oh my god, what? Okay. Oh, that's how we're... Okay. Renju and Shoko had one child together. A daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. So the daughter. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. What year am I living in? Why don't I have a cell phone? I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. She's sitting on the desk casually. 
she's sitting on the desk casually. Okay, that's all. Okay, uh, about Mizuki. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No, she just lives with me. Mizuki Okira. The girl we found in the merry-go-round. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. Oh my god. Circu certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood-related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. About Renji. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Renju is Shoko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Not to mention an old friend of mine. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. Oh. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been in a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... <sighs> Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. Red flag, red flag, that red flag! That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. That's what they all say. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Oh yeah, this yes, one isn't related at all to the it case. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. It's definitely not the same killer. Just give it up, Date. Whatever. About the case six years ago, I'm not giving up on it. I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. That's pretty Even sus. if you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dom P. What? My lips are sealed. But Dom why, P? Boss? What the fuck is it's that? It's top secret. Classified. It was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. Give it a rest, Date. No. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. Oh, darn, I'm too scared. Or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. Whoa. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. Oh. I can detect your thoughts, remember? <laughs> Thank you for your input, Iva. <laughs> Just <laughs> promise me you'll let this go. Call okay? it out! It's a delicate issue, even more delicate than my patience. <laughs> so drop it. That's an order. Understood? No. I'm definitely not going to get anything else out of her. She can be surprisingly stubborn sometimes. Ah, damn it. The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. What the? 
Oh. This is normal. Huh? Hello. No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. Yeah, I hate it when my eye just pops out and walks around. Happens at least once a day. It fucking sucks, dude. About I. I've been thinking a lot lately about myself. If I have another mind inside me. Oh my god, these are all I eye puns. I fucking hate really this mean. game. Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rambeau once wrote. I is another. Meaning Ugh. what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. About my eye. Hey, so about my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. About my about AI. Hey, what does love mean what to you? What the fuck? Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, uh... right? Like a pun. I'm right, aren't I? You dork. That hurts, you know. Hey, boss. Is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me. I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea, though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. Boss is looking at Aiba. You know, you kind of are cute like that. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. Uh, why did you come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. What? You're joking, right? Why do you need exercise? It's been five years since we first met. One day I got called into the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. Honey, what is the your outfit? The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Can we drop the collar? I don't know about the collar, man. Iba's been living in my head ever since. She gathers info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve into my, uh, to my brain. It lets us talk without actually speaking. This is normal. My left eyeball is Iba. She sees things differently than I do. Who are you? Is that a serious question? I have to We've ask you. We've been it. partners for five years. You know who I am. Oh. I need a better eye for fashion. Uh, look, don't make me quit this game because I will. All right? Y'all better watch it. <laughs> okay, really now. 
What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? I have determined who reported the crime. Okay, back inside. No. Oh. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. Holy shit. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Who the fuck? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. He's 24? He looks like he's map. 14. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Okay. He looks like me. What do you mean, Hope? <laughs> oh, okay. Map. Nobody else got anything to say? Oh, I can... Myself. Kaname Date. Who are you? Let's talk to myself. Or no, no, we gotta start this like a regular conversation. Hello, me. Hello, me. <laughs> did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? What did I, I just tell a you? Trivia for you? This is I'm such an educational game. I swear, this game. So educational. We're learning so much. Who are you? Who are you? My name is Konami Date. I work as a special agent for the investigation squad of this <laughs> NPD. <laughs> the tone of voice was so good. You are a handsome looking man. Oh, no, stop it. <laughs> are you okay, Date? Perhaps it's time for his medication. <laughs> it's me. I don't think I'll ever get used to seeing myself with my own eye. It's creepy. I suppose it isn't really my eye. I have us my left eye. She's outside my eye socket right now. But I see what she sees. It's as if it were my own eye. Her body and the terminal in the back of my eye socket are connected wirelessly. <laughs> I see myself as she sees me. All right, that's that's it. I think that's officially it now. I see no more green. Wait, no, I, I saw a green. Where was it? The coffee maker? I can't live without coffee. I love it. Steve Relatable. And Except, dark. oh. I'm always amused by boss's ability to make anything sound dirty. I wonder if she does it on purpose. She definitely does. She is a high-class woman. Of course, she does it on purpose. I like that the head turns, because it's your first-person point of view, but you now see Date turning his head. That's cute. Small little details I love like that. Also, can I mention that the, the auto in this game is actually good for once? I haven't played a game that had a good auto-scroll and auto-play in such a long time. The timing is actually so good. I don't have to touch my controller. Holy fuck, why can't games get the auto right? Why is it so hard? Uh, it has a ton of things stuffed in it. All right, I think we're done here. I think we're done here. It's really good? Yeah, it, the auto is perfect. For some reason, such a small thing is so hard for games to get right. Yeah, 13 Sentinels also did it well. 
Uh, we can go to Matsushita Diner. All right, let's go. <laughs> this game must have taken ages to make. They got the auto right. That's crazy. So that was a whole hour. Okay, so 1018 now. Going to Matsushita Diner. Oh, hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. I flashed my badge. Oh, heavens no. I is my boy... Is Ota in trouble? Fuck yeah, he is. Calm down, ma'am. Oh, I'm never mind. I'm just here to ask some questions. She hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Could you put that knife down, please? <laughs> She's oh, just goodness. Sorry, knife. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Miami put the knife down on the table beside her. You look so cute. Look at her little scarf. Aww. Cute. Beer cases. A round chair. A large jellyfish. What? Sure. It's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant. <laughs> I love how much humor is in this game. <laughs> a stool. It's a round chair. It's got stickers on the side. Lucky cat. A lucky cat <laughs> statue. <laughs> what the hell? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. I have never heard that. Is that right? This is such an educational game. I cannot believe the amount of shit I am learning in this game. All right, chat, can I get a collective? There, and now everybody's happy and has good luck. Let me let me hear the meows. I want to be able to hear you. She's All right. She's cute. Wow. You have zero standards, Konami. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's the meows. I can hear y'all. I just want to make sure that you guys have a good and happy life. All right. I'm just looking out for you. Disposable chopsticks. Okay. Window. Nothing but a window. So about this knife. There's a kitchen knife on the table. There is something is engraved on the handle. I don't read Japanese. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Oh. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. <laughs> it's so cute. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Aww. That's cute. There's a floral pattern kitchen knife on the table. It looks like Oda gave it to Mayumi for Mother's Day. Is there more? Mom, I love you always. Mm. That's too cute. Garlic. 
garbage. Oh, bucket. A bucket. Does this remind you of your delinquent youth? What do you mean? Hey, now, don't judge a book by its cover. Besides, I have no memory of my youth. I wouldn't know. It's a mop. The condiments, there we go. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. <laughs> Identify unidentified this is liquid. Mayumi's black sauce. Oh. Mayumi makes her own black sauce. Hope! Thank you for gifting a sub to Ike! Aw, what a lad. Mods gotta look after mods. How sweet. Neither of us can figure out what that sauce is. It's black sauce. <gasps> slippers! Oh, we can't. I, okay, there's nothing to look at with the slippers. A low table. This is really cute. This diner is so cute. They have a regular seating section, like Western style, and then they have classic traditional seating style and you can choose i love that they have both of them a small sitting this cushion. reminds me of the funniest props compilation i saw what you reached pretty far back for that reference what Menus written on the wall in Tenzaku paper. It says, good luck. There's a menu on the Kuroda table. Kuroda Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red wine. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> that was a good timing. Ray, thank you for gifting a sub to Ayaba. <laughs> I appreciate it. The swinging door. A swinging, a swinging do door. Swimming? What? A swinging door. Date? Is he okay? I can see the kitchen area past the counter. The counter. Yeah, great. Okay, I think we got everything. Oh. That is the autograph of Uruka from Dark Zone Kalimas. Huh? Who? Who? What? Some celebrity's autograph. Oh, there's a TV up here. An old CRT think television. Think any channels? Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. Alright, I think that's everything. Oh, the kid's seat. There is a kid's seat here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Ota's mother, Mayumi Matsushita. Uh, about Merix the PLS, weather. Merix Let's PLS, talk about Merix the weather. PLS. Thank you so much for the four months. I appreciate it. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right. Yes. Uh, tell me about your husband. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers. Here. It looks homey in here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. Huh? What? Uh, where 
is your husband? I feel like that's so rude to ask. We're just assuming that she has a husband? Like, what if they got divorced? Like, just because she got a kid, you know? That's a weird question. I think... Oh, okay. He went to buy some ingredients. Okay, husband is cool and fine. He They're not divorced. He's not all dead. Alright. I feel me. like that could be awkward. This is nothing new. Uh, about Shoko, is Oda here? Oh, God. Um, how long have you been here? Oh, about 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started. As but it takes for a small back business. Then, everyone was willing to lend you money. Aw. The sad truth. Uh. About Choco. I decided to ask her about Choco just in case. I brought out the picture of Choco and showed it to my Yumi. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Is Oda here? Oda's mother, Mayumi Matsushita. She must really like flowers. That boy. He's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? What is he doing? Oh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. What's the name of the company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Why does Oda hang out there? <sighs> because there's a goddess there. There's a what? A what? <laughs> Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. I just realized there's a, a box witch, huh? on the counter, too. Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? Oh, the one on yeah, the I table? forgot to look at it. Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. So, is this witch working there? Yes. That good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Oh, no. Do you know her name? I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? Um... I don't remember. I just call her the witch. All right, we're getting nowhere. Okay. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Can you call him? No, actually, uh, I want to look at the box. I forgot to look at it. Do you out. want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy I doesn't remember I her name at all. Oh my god. Thank you for the 22 months. Date, there's a paper slip on that cardboard box. Why not try enlarging the image? Cardboard box. Is a delivery slip attached to it? The sender is... Great grin. Oh my a god, it's in Az Azamon. Product description reads solid model. It it's a Azamon. We should look inside. Use the X ray mode. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of x-ray vision should make them legible. So... A set. What the fuck? 
Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. What was that? If I'm getting this straight, the mom doesn't like him wasting his money on figures. Which honestly, is she wrong? Figures are expensive. If you're 24 years old, like, you know, you gotta save up your money. You got, you're probably in a fuck ton of debt at that age. Spending a lot of money on figures. Mom should be concerned. You can do what you want, but, you know, she's just worried. All right, can you call him? Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? Oh, my God. He doesn't have one? What? He better not. Waste of money. Oh, my God, she does think it's a waste of money. <laughs> abandon this line of questioning, Date. Oh, God, Mom. Ota does have a phone. Oh my god, Mom. I found his number. Call him. I have already attempted to call multiple times. Oh my god, Mom. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Oh Let's god, Mom. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Aiba. Date. I found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. Yes, an idol. We already that determined like that. Sounds like a witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. Sorry, what? What? I repeat. Lemnisgate. Renju owns that company. Oh! Correct. Uh, excuse me. That's awkward. Does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. That's concerning. Are we done here? About this idol. She mentioned a box. Am I supposed to look at it? nothing oh it's no longer green you're no longer green <gasps> we did it we got through it we got through all of the green all right bye weird mom. I don't know about you anymore. Lemonisgate. Lemonis. Lemon. Lemonisgit. Lemonisket. Lemon. Why is this so hard? That's him? Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police?
Look at his laptop. Oh my god. Oh, his laptop. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. <sighs> Damn it. There's an abstract what painting on the hung up. I do not know. That's what you say to abstract paintings. You just don't know what they are. They're abstract. That's kind of what the word means. Dante, mm. look! Ants! Ant? What? Look at them go! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. Have you ever met someone in your life that was like, Ants! Yay! Wow! Except Gunta. So far, so far, so, so far, a sofa. It's a sofa. What the fuck was that comment? What? It's a sofa. Yeah, yes. Receptionist. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind this. You didn't need the extra detail. Of course. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. Breasts. There's, there are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Glad we got that covered. Uh... <laughs> That's the reception desk. The company's logo. Lemonisket. Lemonisket. Oh no. Ugh. Oh god. Oh, okay. It's a high table. That is a high school. A high school? Uh. No, Date. <laughs> no Dante, bad Dante. A vending machine full of drinks. Magazine rack. Lots of magazines in that rack. Let's see, how to take a girl home in just two minutes. I think I'll take a look at that. table in front of the hey, sofa. Iva, what do you think would happen if I flip this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Oh! Then you're probably right. Guess I won't. Promotional videos of the agency's talent are playing. Nothing dirty, though. This isn't that kind of company. Are you sure about that? So we just got Oda. Oh, the window. It's just a large window. Okay, so Oda, hi. Um, could you look at me? No. I'm oh. kind of busy right now. What you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Are you a uh, fan of A set? How did you know that? Oh my because god. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Can you tell me about last night? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m. You called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, let's have a look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hate the most. 
punch him. Oh, I like that this is an option and our only option. Let's go. Date, wait. Oh, god damn it. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. And what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Kick it. Wait, that's any better? I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Ugly girl who's mad jealous? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Oh god. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Two Witter, Twitter, Two Witter, uh. Pongo Ponko and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Oh my fucking god. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. Oh. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. Oh my fucking god. Who has the time for this shit? Are you kidding me? Lit literally, like, holy fuck. Do something better with your fucking life. Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two Witter. Two Witter. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? What the actual... Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> so, why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. That's crazy. Tessa bro. is recording a podcast today. Oh my fucking god. Why do they allow this kid to be here? They should kick him out. The fuck? When did you start with these fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Oh my Don't god. Don't you think all those comments were the This even is so sad. But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just... Don't do it again, okay? You're 24? There's no way you're fucking 24, oh my god. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Yes. Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone. Uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk. Just... Oh, my God. Wow. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. You know her? Oh my fucking god. Yeah, were you trying to I be friends her. with her to get an in to Lemniscate? Oh my fucking god. If this kid is for real right now. That better not be the reason. She's just a friend. Yes, yeah, she better be. What? Why do you care? Uh, Where and how did you Because I'm meet? dad. Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. 
I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last no. September. Oh my god, she came so up to me like, hey. I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? How do you know Mizuki? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. <laughs> Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work. <laughs> professional <under> authors! <laughs> hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Yeah, no like, shit. When turned out you're a coward. Out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. Fuck. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. <laughs> Why did you use a payphone? I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. Oh my god. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Oates' phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. I like that we can just hack into stuff invade privacy constantly. You know, it's kind of convenient sometimes. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Tessa! Oh, God. She doesn't look anything special. And you are? Mr. Dante from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! Oh. What are you thinking? Date. Your adrenaline level is rising. Is something the matter? No, nothing.
About a set. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? About Shoko Nadami. I took out Shoto's photo from my pocket and showed it to Oda. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Mm. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Did you talk to her about last night? Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa! Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. Oh my god. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. Ota's looking at a set. Well, not really a look, more of a gawk or an enraptured gaze. Hello, table. Hey, Iva. What do you think would happen if I flipped this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're probably right. Are you a set? Let me confirm something. You're a set, right? <laughs> Let's play a game. Shadows. Um, thread, silhouette, a set. Fears. Uh. Upset, regret, ASAT. Water. Wet, sweat, ASAT. <laughs> Yay! ASAT, you bet! The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave at once. Hmm? Something wrong? What's your relationship with Oda? Relationship? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Stop, you're making me blush. This guy. About the sock puppeting. Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Two Winner. Wait! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. We got blackmail. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Um, how old are you? turned 18 this year. Oh, God. Senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? Your 
friends with Mizuki? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Mizuki and I live under the same roof. But she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. What? You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. This keeps happening with Do you have any suspects? Him. Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto is telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Do I have to take her? Ota, take a video! What? Huh? Just do it! What? Mr. Dante! What the fuck? What? I can't imagine life without you! What are you doing? Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah! You have no idea how tempted I am to go grab some alcohol. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I think I need it. else man this is something else i'm glad you all understand i'll be back i'm gonna I'm whipping out my favorite wine, Moscato. Just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. <laughs> Likewise. I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Ha. Ha 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 ha. Oda is staring daggers at me. Good, kid. Fuck off. What are you doing? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? 
a public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... Is this 18-year-old just blackmailing me now? So I blackmail this kid and then she blackmail... Okay. Great. I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Why did you become an idol? Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous, get on TV, be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. Oh my fucking god. I've been focusing a Shovel lot on Shovel Forge, mine. Oh what my about being fucking on TV? god. I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Really? I'm. Okay. About Oda. She's a Minecraft streamer. What the fuck? You two are very close for an idol and a fan. Oda is special. I'm wondering, like, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong with my streaming career, like content creation in general. I have literally never played Minecraft a day in my life. I feel like the only human that hasn't played Minecraft. Maybe that's what I need to do. Just play Minecraft. Boom. And then I'm a millionaire, apparently. He really is like a hero to me. Hero, huh? I'm not alone? Oh, wow. I feel like everybody has played Minecraft. We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Yeah, it seems like Minecraft is really fun to play with friends. One day, I will try out Minecraft, and it'll be the best stream. It'll be my best stream I've ever had and ever will have, probably. Well, at first, all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. Oh, that's awkward. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. But 
Anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. Is this like a daughter-in-law? Oh god. Um, Mr. Date, shouldn't you keep your or eyes on the road? How does that work? Not in-law. Uh, Don't worry about it. I'm a professional. I forget how that shit works. Questions. Questions. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm-hmm. But you are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please? This girl is so annoying. What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Oh my fucking god. Whoa, hold up now. Well then, tell me. You are such a spoiled brat! You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. But... Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. What? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. She's pulling our leg. She's trolling. <laughs> Just yeah, she's a kidding. fucking inter She lives on the internet. So. This kid is definitely a fucking anyway, troll. I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. This fucking kid. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date. I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Yeah, okay. By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris Sagan. I know, weird, right? Why does this keep happening? Body cake. Baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it. Poke it. Fill it with fruit. Mm-hmm. Something wrong? Oh, no. God. Oh, it's fucking nothing. God. I didn't like what that implied. She's not like... No. She, no. Nah. All right, Saturday, 1.12 p.m. Excuse me, you Konami Date? That's right. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed onto the scene. What are you doing? What are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? I do. Well, let's hear it.
Why do you think this was a ritual murder? The horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? Oh my fuck. What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. The eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. Oh, I see. That's not the all-seeing eye, that's the Just fucking like what's Illuminati. On the back of the bill. Yeah, exactly. The eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? Not really. I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw? Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth... He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. been here before when i was younger but not since it closed kabasaki is restricted right no one's supposed to be here this amusement park bloom park is located at the heart of the kabasaki district it was closed eight years ago the closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant that sucks an explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area the government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, this girl is better than me at theories. Unsafe for habitation and restricted. <sighs> Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted I'll area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers around to here. There are still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. I just need to drink a little more. the evac order and are still living here. Are they okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she in front of my eyes? Huh? Iris is investigating the horse, looking over it curiously. Is I... that a phone booth? Does this look like a no, fucking phone booth? No, it's the control room. Honey. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. Oh my god. I hate this girl. But hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you, making that reference? I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. <gasps> So you're not 18. There's no way you're fucking 18. am i what are you talking about <laughs> nothing just thinking about a game i like ha huh. 
I'm laughing so much. Makes me kind of angry for some reason. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. Where is this anger coming Why from? Why are you burning benches? It's a fucking bench, bro! What? A bench for couples. Oh my fucking god. Mr. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. Holographic caution tape. Ah, uh, I guess we can look at the sky again. The Ferris wheel. Still reminds me of a giant eye staring down. Okay, let me tell you how this game breaks down because I cannot have this girl upstaging me with theories. All right, you're gonna make me fucking angry. Give me a sec. All right, so this game is all about the Ferris wheel god, okay? This Ferris wheel was made by this Renju of Lemoniscuit, okay? He was, he made it to oversee the world. That, that, that Ferris wheel is, a, is like an illusion. It's actually like five times bigger than the Ferris wheel that you see, all right? And, uh, the, the Ferris wheel god didn't like that, uh, this girl existed because she broke up with Renju back in the day. And I remind you that Renju was the one that built the Ferris wheel in the first place to spy. So the, the Ferris wheel god found Shoko one day and because Renju was out for revenge, uh, so, uh, he wanted to kill his ex-wife. He was mad about the divorce. He didn't want the fucking divorce. So the Ferris wheel god that he created it's like a, he turned into like Zeus and he takes like a thunderbolt or a, a, an ice pick from its own Ferris wheel parts because it's there somewhere and it just goes, it thunders, it, it, it chucks it down with an arm that totally exists on it and it throws it right through the eye socket. Actually, oh wait, fuck, somebody has to do it. He stabs multiple times. And then he stabs right through the eyeball and leaves it there because, and, and he, he stabs the left eyeball in particular because, um, uh, oh, I'll give backstory to that. So Shoko had two different color eyes. So whenever they were dating back in the day, uh, Shoko had like a, a, a brown right eye and a blue left eye. Renju didn't like the blue eye. He was pissed about the blue eye. So he decided that, you know what, to make her prettier, he just needed to delete the left eyeball and then just have the brown eye. Like, we don't need the blue eye. We just, <laughs> we just need to delete it. So blue eye, pff, that shit's so gone. And then we just leave the brown eye and like, boom, now, now he would marry her again. <laughs> this theory is so much better than what that chick said. Yeah, my theory is logical. The Ferris wheel god made by Renju. That's that's who really did it. Yeah. So basically what I'm saying is is that it's Renju. Mhm. Mm <laughs> what a fun theory to enter this stream to. <laughs> the Oris has no part. There is nothing about Egyptian gods in this shit. Like, Iris is just high on some shit. Like, this girl is stupid. I don't understand why she gotta bring Egyptian gods into this. Like, it's not about Egyptian gods, honey. It's about a Ferris wheel god and your stupid manager. All right, I'm out. Mic drop. Ah. Uh...
Okay, no. Iris is actually 30 years old, and uh, she's actually Renju's uh, new wife. She had a grudge on Shoko, and she did it herself. A local cop. That's great. It's not looking too great. We searched all over here, but we didn't find nothing. Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? can't stop on the pole. How do I... It's too small. A metal pole. Uh, uh, uh. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Dante. Bitch, shut up! You wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? What the hell are you talking about? I'm ignoring that you exist. Click on the pole, guys. I'm struggling. The, po the pole. I. I just. I just. <sighs> Got it. It's a metal pole. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. You know what I think? Iris is doing some ritual thing right now by, like, stepping side to side. I bet that's the start of some Egyptian ritual that no one knows about, alright? She's summoning, like, another... Uh, carousel god to commit another murder. I bet she's trying to plan Mizuki's murder right now. Yeah, Miss Ritual shit whatever. I got you figured out, girl, okay? I bet you're conducting a ritual right now. Shoko's corpse was tied up here. Wait a second. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. On Agreed. the horse, yes. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off, either. That must mean... She was put here later. So my theory is very right. What if Shoko was actually killed on the Ferris wheel and the Ferris wheel god killed her and then she was transported on to the merry-go-round to blame the carousel god when it was actually the Ferris wheel god. I think it makes perfect sense, but that's just me. <gasps> I hate this. Okay, we should go. Oh, come on. Just a little longer. No. I'm no. already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Yeah, the carousel god is innocent. It was the Ferris wheel god. Hey, you all right? Oh, what the fuck? You okay? Fu Morning sickness. What? 
morning sickness. Are you pregnant? I'm kidding. It's not like I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? What? Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Oh my god. Who says that? What'd you get? Okay. That's weird. It's usually not like that. It's usually just stuck in the mailbox. Hmm. Oh, I can look at the wheel. It's a steering wheel. The dashboard. You no. Know, I'm feeling kind of bored. Seriously? Don't give me more reasons to hate you. Shame. <laughs> oh, you should worry about me more. <laughs> Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? Do it. I would put it right back where it came from. Oh. <laughs> Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. Fahrenheit? Why the fuck it are we in Fahrenheit? That heat would be a factor. Hey, Date. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. What? Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. Shut up now! Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now... <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. Again, this is an educational game, guys. I'm, I hope that you're getting a lot of education from it. Because I think that's the point. Now you know that if you go 100 miles per hour in a car, it's like holding a D cup. Which definitely is accurate. By the way, Sagan Residence. You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already? Yes. I said my goodbyes, then turned to leave. But out of the corner of my eye. Oh, who is this, Iris? It's me, your husband. Because that woman, she's... It can't be. I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. As I stood there, stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. You, you're... Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? 
Kaname Date from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on the tray. Hmm. She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. This is awkward. She has the tiniest fucking feet. Hello? Why are your hands bigger than your feet? Like, your feet look like they're a size three. In America sizes. Holy baby feet. Why did you go to the feet? It stood out to me. They're so small. They look like they can't even support her body if she stands. Of course I'm gonna point it out. It's a shoe box. I wonder what they smell you like. Are beyond perverted. Y'all don't hey, these don't be are private, okay? Oh my god, Dante. Don't be flaming me for looking at the feet when Dante is like this, okay? Oh Jesus. I am not like Date. No, 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 not anymore. No, we don't share the same brain cell anymore. There's a calendar and a strange object on the shelf. It reminds me of a kind of angel. What is that object? There's a tabletop calendar. Okay, you didn't tell me what it was, but okay. No, I'm not the same. No. I don't... Feet are gross, people. I don't understand. I'm just commenting on how small they are. How am I... How is this... Dude, you can see, like, all of two pixels on these feet. They're just two colors. Like, you cannot get horny off of these feet. You cannot tell me. Oh, it's another one right here. No books on it, but it's definitely a bookshelf. I saw it in a catalog before, so I know it. That standing lamp isn't a rose. Did I see into the future? There are a lot of dishes. I have to do dishes too. The dining table. Dining we could table. always sit here and ask the spirits what they think. What? It's not a divining table. Date? Yeah, microwave. Let me know if you're cold. What? I'll pop you in there and warm you up. What? I would suggest putting your heart in there first. Oh shit! Date, a riddle. How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? You don't. What? The solution is this. You open the door, put the giraffe in, and close the door. What kind of a riddle is that? Another riddle. How do you put an elephant in the refrigerator? You don't. Isn't it the same answer? Open the door, put it in, close the door. Incorrect. The giraffe is already inside. Oh my fucking god! You must remove the giraffe before you put the elephant inside. That is the solution. The riddles could use some work. I'm gonna quit, dude. What? I'm gonna quit playing this game. This is bullshit. I can't see them from here, but there's probably a sink and stove on the other side. Oh, that's cute. 
Who's the daddy? There's a drawing on the wall. I wonder if Iris drew this when she was younger. I'm the daddy. Who am I saying? What am I saying? A telephone in the corner. Congratulations, Dante. You are the father. The flowers. It's an iris. An iris? I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. You met your father today. That's what, that's what happened. That's the good that happened. It means good news and hope. I've seen that cushion somewhere before. No, not just the cushion. I saw this entire room in my dream Is there last a problem, night. Dante? No, that's nothing. You can see the trees and sky outside. It is so pretty. It's for lighting. No shit, a light for lighting? A ceiling fan is spinning. What? That's crazy. Iris and her mother Hitomi are sitting on the sofa. Wow. A coffee table. Steam is rising from the tea. There are some elementary workbooks on the table, but looking closely, one of the mid one in the middle is different. Osogami Sumo Wrestler Dictionary. Osogami Sumo. All right, Iris, cough up your secrets. Uh, you look chipper. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> what are you laughing at about the flowers? Iris was hinting about the flowers blooming behind her. Why is it gray now? I already looked at them, you fuck. You were saying? Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. Huh. We haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Are you left-handed? Oh. Uh. Hmm. Mom used to be right-handed. But now... Hmm. It locked up on me. Ah, oh, I see. You seem to be doing well now. Yeah, thanks to you. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! Rawr! How am I supposed to react to that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. True! How long have you been living here? Since I was born. And Mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but... I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because... there was... well... Uh, I don't know. Huh? About the flowers? I already looked at the flowers, Ben. Whatever. Ooh, 
about Renju? I want to know how old you are because you know the first thing whenever you meet somebody, especially a whammon, you know, the first thing you ask them is how old you are. It always ends up going well and it's considered very polite. I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? I don't have one. Divorce? Mr. Date, please! It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. A single mother. Yes. Where do you work? I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. About Renju. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. <laughs> Scary thought. Do you know Renju's ex-wife? Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Oh. Why do you ask? A few months ago. No reason. No reason? We just say goodbye? Well, I think it's time for me to be heading home. I stood and headed for the door. Iris and Hitomi stood politely. Mr. Date, we'll see each other again, right? You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate after all. What? Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm seeing you. Oh, handshake. She can't use her right arm. Uh, excuse me. Well, I should head home. All right. Take care, Date. Okay. Want to go for a high five while you're there? How old am Dante, I? You can't just ask me how old I am. Gosh, that's rude. You have to guess first, as if y'all don't Good already idea. know. Why the fuck am I looking at me? What? The da dashboard. Dashboard. Oh my god. Oh, Aiba. Oh, I didn't realize. Aiba is fitted into the center of the wheel. Oh, okay. Oh, the glove box. Do you hide your risque reading material in there, Date? Not at all. Why would I hide them there? <laughs> all right. I like how I have a, my, my left eye charges in my car. That's low-key kind of smart. Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Oh my god. Perhaps he's had too much medication. Oh my god. Hi, Date. All right, play a game. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. I Spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I win. I will terminate you.
Don't push yourself, Tate. No, I'm fine, Tate. You do not appear to be fine. Right. Now, who is this handsome gentleman? Oh, it's me! I can see myself through Iva. The rear view Look, mirror. A crazy grandma with a knife is running straight for us. Mm hmm. You can see the scenery through the rear window. Alrighty, uh, about Shoko's corpse. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up a minute. Okay, so like... My brain's putting it all together. So she gets killed somewhere else and is then brought to the horse after. But that's, you know, so that implies that the, the also the, the ice pick being left in the eye. So you stab her in a remote location. Of course, that remote location being the Ferris wheel because of the Ferris wheel god, obviously. Um, so you stab her in the Ferris wheel. And then you transfer the body over to the carousel to blame the carousel god. And you leave the ice pick in the eye. It all had to be done prior, including the stabbing of the eye. But why stab the eye if you're not going to take the eye? You just leave it through the eyeball? And she had to have been alive at the time. Or else her eye wasn't had been so bloody. Wait, 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 wait. That's weird, isn't it? Because, like, if she's dying from blood loss, this, the taking out of the eye had to have happened. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, she had... Okay, she was alive whenever the eye was stabbed. And then it's taken out. That would make sense. Never mind. Okay, so... Okay, never mind. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. There were no fingerprints, hair or other clues left behind by the culprit. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? Yo, that's fucking weird. Maybe she took her mom's eye as like a trophy, right? Okay, that's fucked up. Disregard me saying anything. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Let's hear the timeline of events. Aiba. Can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. Okay. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. 5 p.m. Shoko's time of death. 
Approximately, approximately, uh, uh, Mizuki receives the Nile message. Unknown sender, request to come to Bloom Park. But that's so weird because like she was already dead. And then she receives the message to come to Bloom Park. At 8.10, Mizuki calls Ota. Asks him to accompany her to Bloom Park. And then 9 p.m., Mizuki and Ota discover Shokyo's corpse. Ota leaves Mizuki, Mizuki because he sucks. 9.05, Ota reports the crime. 9.30, first responders arrive. 25 minutes? Jesus. Hiya. 10.50, Date arrives. Damn. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Oh, wait. Shoko is the... Mizuki receives the Nile message. Right, 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 right. Okay. Then Mizuki knew the I got sender. them confused for a second. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Aiba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Well then do it! Start taking the time right now, bitch! Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Yeah, okay. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. Oh, okay. I was merely joking, as you call it. Anything on your mind? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? The Ferris wheel god. I have no idea. I'm telling you, it was the Ferris wheel god. All right, back to police headquarters. Let me get a quick snack. Only because I feel like I need to eat something to stay awake right now. My eyes are so heavy from this weekend of terrible sleep. Welcome back. Thanks, boss. I brought her here after her examination was over. Asuki. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. Poking? So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. Yeah, peanut butter pretzels. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. Sync with her? Strange strings of characters and figures scroll across the monitor. Binder full of papers. Manual for the sink machine. Chair. Pewter. Nah. Boss? Nah. Mizuki. Nah. Sink machine. 
Enormous machine beyond the window. This machine is known as the sink machine. I open it up, it's completely packed with books. They're all homoerotic, BL, manga, and gay romance novels. Interesting, pewter. Interesting. A metal shelf, metal shelf placed along the wall. All right, pewter. I want to talk about those uh, books. There's no option for that. Hmm, that sucks. A walker. Searching. Classic. You can already tell by the outfit. Okay, kind of. Okay. That's rock? Oh my fucking god. I hate this game. CRT Johnson, monitor. Look, it's the girl from that horror movie coming out of the well. What the hell are you talking about? No one crawled out of it yet. Oh my god. Interesting. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. Now where on earth did you learn that? There are various things on the table. Pewter, we need to have a talk. Yeah, there's nothing about the books here. Uh... You sure this is okay? She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. Hey, Pewter. About Iba. Could you do something about her personality? <laughs> do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike. Wow. If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. Whoa! Huh. <laughs> so you were listening, huh? Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. MC, thank you for the Prime Gaming. I really appreciate it. That's Pewter. His real name is Amanoma. Amanoma. He's 36 years old. Member of I Abyss, like me. He's a genius engineer that's designed the sync system and other machines. He invented Iabub. He's her caretaker in a way. He's operating the sync console. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. Yeah, and she's you 12! You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. You're the only one who can. Bro, that's fucked up. Like, someone messages this 12-year-old kid to come to Bloom Park. Prefer- uh, not preferably, probably, likely, the, the person that committed the murder. Like, all to see that her mom died? Like, what is the point in luring this kid to see this murder? Why would you do that to a kid? Like, what the fuck kind of grudge do you got against this kid? You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. 
Don't you agree? Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? Dude seems like a I bitch. I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended Although he's supposed noon. to be my friend. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... I don't know. She can't hear me from here. We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you. But she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. Sink machine. Hey, look, I can see boss. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> Why are you talking to me? Because I feel like it. Agent Dante, please. Mizuki needs you. the sink here i know it looks scary but trust me there's nothing to be afraid of there's no pain no side effects when this is all over you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind you sink deep down into their psyches and you synchronize with their true selves people like me are called sinkers Sinkers <laughs> enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnia. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries, or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? You're gonna get her ice cream. Ramen, sushi, unagi, some of the stew you like. She's a kid. I feel like kids don't eat sushi. That's too... I feel like that's a... You eat that when you're older. Um... Ramen? Unagi, maybe? Uh, 
What's, uh, what's something the kids like? Ramen? I feel like that's also... You know what? I'm sure she likes ramen. Ramen. That ramen with the corn. It looks like pig slop. Oh, God, no. I thought no. it was garbage, but you loved it. Oh. I'll go get some with you. Date, your choice of words. Oh, God. I thought I chose pretty good words. I should have done this, too. Date, my heart rate is steadying. Oh! EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and Special Agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. A new feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Sure, got it. Date, you ready? Okay. Are we ready? Ready anytime. So. Remember, Date, you have only six minutes in the Sonic world. That's it? Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed six by the minutes. subjects. Dude, that's yeah, fucking nothing. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. We're counting on you. Well then, let's begin. Oh, great. I'm glad she doesn't do the weird dance again. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Oh my god. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast. Game Our time play. is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. Yeah, I'm comprehending. The time and I got it. is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan, activate! Mizuki is mute. By healing her mental wounds, you would may be able to get important info. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Oh, God! Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Aiba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. 
I know. Oh no, time limit. Time is expended whenever Aiba is moving or performing an action. Pay attention to the time remaining left in the upper right corner of the screen. Unlock all mental locks within the limit. No! An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Pull out, push in. It takes 20 seconds to pull it out. I'm doing it. Right. No one would want to see their mother like this. Oh, we're creating it a lightning rod. Going. What is this? Something happened over there. Aha! I'm smart. I'm very intelligent. <sighs> the pillar became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the burn cage now. Our next step must be to remove it. Date, we got a timey. Timey? A timey? A timey. Time induction matter in encephalon. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnium. Oh, wow. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. Timeys are items that affect time. You will sometimes obtain them when you perform an action. Timeys only affect the time taken to perform an action. You are only able to hold three timeys. Picking up a timey when you already hold three will replace one. Timeys are expended after you one use, but use them as often as you can. Oh, can I Oh god, time goes so fast when you move. Panda! The panda is in awful shape. Put it back together, I don't care how much time it takes! Leave it to me. I am quite skilled at this. Or at least I thought I was. Your overconfidence is your weakness. The panda is in. Ha! Ah! <laughs> oh. Did the merry go round to move as well? Is there a connection there? The panda is in. This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. Threaten. Why do I choose the longest options? I don't fucking care. Listen up, miscreant. <laughs> I know you're hiding in there. Throw down your weapon and come out with your hands up. Nothing happened. Your parents would be very disappointed in you. You can fix this. You have so much to live for. You can't give up hope now. You're having fun, aren't you? Yikes. Agent Dante, like... you've got five minutes. Five minutes? Okay. Stop it. Yeah! Stop it already. A mic. I wanted the control room. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. The control room of the merry-go- 
knock or open? Let's politely knock. Hello? Are you open? One adult and one child, please. I am not a child. <laughs> Any open seats will do. Anything in the back is fine. No response. There must not be anyone inside. Lame. So, is it safe to enter? Should be. The control room of the merry-go-round. The control room of the merry-go-round. I like this. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Hello, Fox? Oh my god, blinded by the light. Woo! Blinded by the light. <laughs> I didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. Oh. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. The left one. What is all this? A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. A bird cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? You can <laughs> say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. <laughs> uh... I'll send it flying. Tackle it. I think you've had enough. I'll let you go. This time. Don't yeah. Always have your true strength and dreams, I guess. I'll let you go this time. A bird cage. There are balloons inside. Balloons. Haha, <laughs> she said it. There are a number of balloons inside. Looks like they'd fly away if you lifted the cage. What would that accomplish? I don't know. Dream worlds are unpredictable. Cause and effect are screwed up here. Wait, did I not say to lift it? Oh my god, 50. What the fuck? A bird cage. There are both. Oh, I meant to say lift. Oh, fucking hell. Timey will not be used? Why? will be easy. Glad to hear it. I beat the video game. What? But it was so heavy. The balloons were actually weighing it down the whole time. But nothing happened. Oh? What is this? Deflated balloon. Allow you to return to a save point just after unlocking a mental lock? You only have three retries. retries. Going back one lock costs one, two, okay. Ooh. Oh, I don't need time. Retry. God, no. We're fine. But I can save my game. I can waste all the time in the world. We're fine. It blew you away. Ha ha! Ha! That's funny. Y'all need to stop backseat gaming. Holy shit. Deflated balloon. A deflated rubber. I told you, please call it a balloon. 
What are you a deflated so rupture. About? Uh, time to blow it up. Understood. It's huge. I wish your boobs were that big. Oh my fucking are god, you Dante. Those are obscenely large for a human. Well, I suppose I am not technically human. So... Date, please, be quiet. You were able to get out? Perhaps the balloon was the key. A story I heard from Mizuki a while back. One time when Mizuki was just a little girl, Shoko bought her a balloon. It was one of the nice helium ones, but the string slipped through her hand. The balloon sailed up into the sky. Shoko snapped. She scolded Mizuki for hours. Maybe that's why Mizuki put the balloons inside the birdcage. That way they could never fly away again. But I guess Ayaba and I made her relive a painful All right. memory. Now that the birdcage is off, let's get Aww. Mizuki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. The panda. <laughs> you can see your current location and objects you've investigated on the Somnium map. If you are lost and want to save time, try checking the map. You have less than two minutes. Hurry! Two minutes is plenty of time. We're fine. The panda is floating. Uh, kick it. Wear it. I can wear it. This is worth it, right? Wear it. Mm. How are you doing that? Unknown. I guess that was a waste of time. It was kind of fun, though. Never a waste of time. What the fuck? You think that was a waste of time? The panda is... <sighs> Whatever. All right. What is this? Merry-go-rounds can fly? Date, over there! Sheesh! Iris? Why? Why is Iris... She appears to be frozen. What the hell is going on? <coughs> what is this? Keep quiet. Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? That hurts! That hurts! Please stop! I'm sorry! Why are you here? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! If you weren't here, everything would be fine. I'm sorry! Apologizing means nothing! Mizuki's voice. The other voice is likely... Damn. What's going on here? Aiba, look out! What? <sighs> I 
was about to become a pancake. Good thing this isn't a bed and breakfast. That frozen iris <laughs> does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. If you choose the correct answer as your final action, you can actually exceed the 360 second time limit. Even if it seems like you don't have a lot of time left, don't give up. You might be able to do it. Pewter sleep talking. Hmm, more than one second. When you clear, you get a prize? No, boss, anything but that. <laughs> oh, God. There goes my time. A merry-go-round horse. Aw, but I don't have any time left. I can spank it for two seconds. Let's do it. You punched it? That's not a spank. Nothing is happening. Poor horse. What do you mean? That was not. Oh, did Dante, it not use it? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I'm fine. Horse. That's stupid. It's Mizuki. Oh boy. Uh, give present and courage, speak kindly, break the glass. I want to give her a present. A gift. Oops. Gift? Oh, that might work. My smile is most so creepy. Or I Now you can have a taste of the merry-go-round every day of your life. Oh my fucking god. It will also improve your health. That's your gift? Bitch, what? No oh, good. that took all my time. Dante, I guess I'm not time. using the things where I thought I was using it. Oh, I think oh wait, I think I've pepped. Damn, we didn't make it. Oh no, we didn't make it. Time to do it again. Oh no, this is so sad. Oh no. Oh, we're back to the deflated, deflated balloon, balloon, are we? I told we? you, please call it a... What are you getting so worked up? So we gotta blow it up. Maybe... I'm so confused. Select it? Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to... I pressed the wrong button. God damn it. Oh my fucking god. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. It's a deflated balloon. <laughs> you know what? You know what? It was fucking worth it, dude. It was fucking worth it. Yeah, like... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! <laughs> I have to press the X button. Oh, fuck. I pressed the D-pad instead. Oh, no. My time. It's a deflated... Less than one minute. Hurry. X. There you go. Now it's like selected, and then you do the thing. Understood. Oh, we gaming, we gaming. I got it. You know what? Better late than never. My time. I didn't need time, by the way. Dante, thirty seconds. Maybe I should go back now. Yeah, we should. We should go back now. <clears throat> it's still worth it. I think it was worth it. I got to throw a deflated balloon a deflated in my face. I told you, please call it a balloon. What are you getting so worked up? Alrighty. I do this button because it's the best one, and then I press that to activate it. And then, so like this should end up at 12, 112, if, I, if it's done right. Let's see. You were able to get. Thirty. 
I you did it. Two minutes. Hurry. The panda is... All right, now we kick it away. Oh, no, 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 no! I see it! The view from the top! You know what? Worth it. Well, that was pointless. No, it was worth it. The panda is... So I can't... Okay, I have to click this. And then I click use, and then I kick it. Easy game. All right. Yeah. What is this? Merry go rounds. This is depressing. Mizuki. All right. No! Mizuki, step back. I, I keep pressing wrong button. No good. Damn. It's Mizuki. Okay. This button. Speak kindly or encourage? Activate it. There we go. And... Uh, speak kindly or encourage. Let's speak kindly. Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. So, it's all right now. Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. Is that a phone ringing? Zelgius, thank you for the Where, prime. I appreciate where's it coming from? The Ferris wheel. Date, don't. You can't stay any longer. Holy shit. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. Gotta do it again, dude. 
Iba, call Iris's phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. Ew, Iris? Hello? This is Konami Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Oh, Tate! Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? Okay. I'm not following. But if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? Oh my fucking no. god. Then go on a date with me. Oh my fucking a god. Date? If you promise me we'll go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. Honey. If you don't promise me, then... I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. <sighs> All right. Understood. Understood? Dude, just agree to play Minecraft. Right. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Why can't you do Fine. that? Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya. What was that? A phone call? It's nothing. Monitor, pewter. What the fuck are you? What, what, what you got going on over here about Somnium? In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. That sucks. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. That's why this works really well as a video game. Um, about prophetic dreams. Ah, the corpse you saw in Somnium. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's see. As a man of science, I don't believe in such things. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Huh? You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. She could have used some stab-proof armor or something. Bro. <laughs> Just indulging in the fantasy of real-life prophecies. <laughs> Don't mind me. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. Right. True. You see? About the ringtone. I know about the ringtone you heard. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? That's what I'm trying to find out. Can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately not. Standing with his hands in his pockets. Okay, boss, your turn. Uh, about what I saw. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. Awkward. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. So we know about everything you saw. The phone, the frozen corpse. Mm, do you believe in prophetic dreams? Where is this coming from? Oh, I see. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki's Somnium. Just say dream. Her name is Iris Sagan. The girl you went to Bloom Park with today. How do you know that? Iba told me. 
It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation reports. Good to know! Uh, about prophetic dreams. Prophecies, huh? That's why you called Iris. But, no. Date, come on. I know, a dream is just a dream. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality. But still, I just have this gut feeling. Date, I've got are you a all feeling. I've right? hoped on a feeling. Perhaps the sink is causing negative side effects. I, I hope that's all it is. About Mizuki's aphonia. It didn't go well. But it's not all bad. The sink wasn't a total waste of time. We found clues. Clues? Right. We've got a record of you talking about balloon titties. Oh yeah, they saw that too. Boss is watching Mizuki with a compassionate gaze. Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki's Somnium. I know. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Yeah. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Did CSI report anything like that? No, nothing. They searched the site, but didn't find a single thing. Hmm, odd. All right, is it time for Mizuki? Is she? She's not gonna talk, though. Um, are you okay? She didn't answer. About the ringtone I heard. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream world, I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere? Or did you just imagine it? Date, there's no point talking to her. You couldn't heal her. Her yes, symptoms I can. haven't improved. She'll I be sent back her. to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. About the Nile message. Mizuki, I have to ask you. You got a Nile message yesterday, and then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was white. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. About Iris's body? Mizuki, I saw something strange in your dream. Iris, she was frozen. She was dead. What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, please. Date, there is no point attempting to speak with her. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. About the ice pick? <laughs> Mizuki. When we found you with the merry-go-round, you we were holding going. the ice pick. We keep going, I don't pick. know why. I'm not accusing you of anything. I have to, though. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. Answer me, Mizuki. Date, please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. Damn it. saw my wine bottle on my desk. <laughs> I couldn't help Mizuki get her voice back. She's sitting on the chair. She looks drained like an abandoned doll. I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there. It might not. I just want to be sure. Take care of Mizuki, okay? Yeah. Leave it to me. All right, bye. Back to Bloom Park we go. To find a cell phone?
This is going to be groundbreaking for the case. I can just feel it. Now the news. Yesterday night, the body of Shoko Nadami was found. Her body was recovered from the now defunct Bloom Park in the Kawasaki district. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. Police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put on display. The MPD has expanded the scope of their investigation and are encouraging anyone with any information to come forward. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. Whoa. As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious in critical condition. Six other individuals were treated for minor injuries. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Wow, interesting. That must be a really long road. We drive on it all the time, too. All right, Bloom Park, 8.13 p.m. This is almost 24 hours after? Not quite, but... Where's the blood? Where is the blood? Also, Ayaba. That's a bit creepy. All right, horse. Hole. Scream boldly, scream shrilly, warn her. Who are you? Who are you? Wait, are you a ghost? Oh my fucking god. Idiot. It's me. Who are you? Me? It's me. Me. Who? I me. said me. But are you a ghost? Oh my god. I'm not a ghost. Then, Iba? But why? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. Oh, okay. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. Oh god, not AR. You can't see me through your right eye. Only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? Shh. We don't talk about it. Uh, how do you appear insomnium? I am connected to your brain via artificial nerve. I am part of your working brain. Our minds are one. During the sync, when the data that constitutes your ego is transferred, <laughs> you some like of my you main bitches, programming is pretty also much. transferred. That is why I appear insomnium. Do I even need to explain this sort of thing to you? Yes! I have experienced sinking many times with you. I'm a dumbass. Although, please. it is true that I have never appeared to you in this form. About your appearance? Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium Find form and another bitches. form. Ugh. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. Be Reika from Tiefblau. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. But what about the boobs? If she's supposed to be what I like, then clearly she should have way bigger boobs. It was somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Affirmative. The source can't be far. The phone must be nearby. I do not know if it actually exists. Dreams consist of memories. But that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. In fact, 
It is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, the events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd, exaggerated, or otherwise warped. Clearly, they do not represent exactly what happened in reality. The ringtone as well. Mizuki didn't necessarily hear it. I understand that. But it's our only lead. Anything catch your eye? As I mentioned earlier, I cannot say for certain if there was a phone here. However, if there is, it must be well hidden. CSI True, she has is already honest. searched the area thoroughly. But they did not discover anything. Hey, Ryder. Well hidden, huh? Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. Do you see anywhere suspicious? Let me see. I need to analyze the surroundings. It is certainly the case that the phone would be placed somewhere not readily visible to the naked eye. If it exists at all. Did you check the horse? The horse? Shoko's body was placed on this horse. It must be significant. And it appears that the horse is hollow on the inside. Iba said something about the merry-go-round horses. X-ray the horses. <gasps> what is this? Look at that. It appears to be a smartphone. <gasps> a smartphone. I knew it was in the horse. Don't lie. But um, you shouted me. I didn't doubt you. I would never doubt you. So how do I get it out? I cannot find any weaknesses or seams in the horse's body. How? The horse's neck does not detach either. There must be some hole or something. I found one. Where? The mouth of the horse. I might be able to fit inside. One moment. What? I got it! Yes. Good job, Iva. Clueless, I got a smartphone. Oh, that's my first clue. I've been playing this game for four fucking hours. And that's my first fucking clue. Iba, who owned this phone? The number is... I told Iba the number. The results came back quickly. This is a rental phone. A rental? The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Come on. Date, look at the device history. It's gone. No outgoing call history. What about the incoming history? Only one call, 9.02 p.m. yesterday. Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnium. Who is the caller? Their name isn't displayed. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts. No numbers at all. The phone had no email addresses or browsing history. That could be a clue either. Just the one clue, the call at 9.02 p.m. I had Iba look up the number. This number is also from a rental phone. No owner is registered. Ow. Oh. What happened? The battery died. The battery died. The screen turned off. Mind you, Yvonne, hmm. that's because it is Erica. Ugh. Of course, the battery is fucking dead. There's a fence set up around the merry-go-round. Control room. This is where the ride is operated. Parasol is very important. It's a parasol. Uh, the skewered horses in the background are also very important. The column. Why was she in the column? A 
eight years since he closed. All right, so Iba. Call the number I just gave you. Iba, remember the number I just gave you? Of course. Call it. It connected. It connected. Uh, my name is Konami Date. I'm with the Metropolitan Police Department. I like how he Are starts it off with, uh... They hung up. Oh my oh, god, you just you said think so? Uh... What kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? I couldn't help it. Oh my god. I wasn't ready. I, I just said the first thing that came into my head. You oh told my me to call. God. I didn't think it would work. Disappointing. There is no other word for it. You're telling me. Can you call it again? Iba, can you call it again? I'll be ready this time, I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. I'm not trusting you. The number you have dialed is no longer in Oh! You ruined Damn, your call chance! Denied. Call deny? Yeah, call denied. Oh, the thing Reika from the Cabaret Club did to your number. Oh. Damn, you remember that? <laughs> Yikes. Okay, low blow, low blow. All right. Um, why was the phone in the horse? Unknown. But it does appear to be deliberate. Did the culprit do this? Or did someone else? And for what specific purpose? Who is the person? Call Reika. Call Reika! What? Why? I want to hear her voice. Oh my god. She put you on call deny. Can't you try from another line? I can, but I won't. Use a payphone if you want to call her. I don't have my own phone. As long as I'm within range, I can use Iba to make any call I need. Uh, whether it's a tradi traditional line or a Nile message, I can have Iba help me. Iba is connected to my mind wirelessly as well. So even if she, when she's outside of my eye socket, I can talk normally. Uh, what cell tower did that call connect to? Near 3rd Street, Shinjuku. That's a wide range. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. The power also appears to be off. I cannot connect from any line because you blew it. <sighs> Should we get to Shinjuku? Who is the person we called? Probably someone involved in the incident. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police, then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. Should we go to Shinjuku? There would be no point to that now. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the move. Right. Date, you fucked up, bro. Iba, let's like, get you going. hard fucked up. There's nothing more here. Why would you call Where are we going? and be like, hey, police? Like Iris's house? Yeah, I'm curious. About your prophecy? Absurd. It was nothing. Let's hope so. Dude, we're gonna go there and uh, she's gonna be dead. Oh, map. Oh my god. The Sagan residence. What if I go here and she's dead? What do I do? Cry? That seems like a good thing to do. Wait, I wanna I wanna look at the sky. Why can't I look at the sky anymore? Just look at the fucking sky, bro. The night sky of Tokyo is bright. The sky is clear, but I can't see the stars. You'll never be able to see the stars in Tokyo. Are you fucking kidding me? Too much light pollution. Oh, man. Call the police? I am the police! What do you mean? Anyway, I am very sorry, but I do have to end it here. I'm dying. Like, hardcore dying. I need a nap. I haven't recovered since staying up until 6 a.m. on Friday night, Saturday morning. I'm so tired. <sighs> Legit. God, my brain is a hot mess and it can't focus at all. 
the wine definitely helped. <laughs>